So today I thought, break up the normal venison diet, we would have a beautiful roasted fish dinner. So I have got, and I pulled these out of my freezer, some beautiful whole red mullet. Now, the red mullet's one of the most delicious eating fish, loved of chefs. And all I'm doing here is making sure that I've got every single scale off, and it is a mullet, which means it, ah, you want to make sure it's really nice and clean. And as I like, this fish has been frozen with its guts in, which is great. It just, it comes out of the freezer much better that way. So there we got three beautiful red mullet and they've been scaled, the fins taken off and nice and cleaned inside. So next I've got to fire up my wood fired oven. I'm going to fire up the wood fired oven, get the grill going. I'm going to roast these in the wood fired oven and we're going to use the grill to make a gorgeous little burnt butter and brown shrimp sauce. It's a bit chefy, but it's dead easy and it's incredibly delicious. So we're going to make a gorgeous chicory endive salad with watercress and uh, yeah, befitting of a gorgeous spring afternoon like this. So I've got my little uni oven really, really hot and a combination of charcoal and firewood. And I find that, that gets you amazing heat because today I'm cooking one of my favorite fish. This is the red mullet and I scaled them earlier and gutted them. And now I want to roast them in one go, but I don't want them touching anything. I want them sort of freestanding. So I'm using my favorite big skewers here. I'm going in the front end here. If I can just get that mouth open. And I'm going to push the skewer down the line of the backbone, out through, and then I'm hooking it through the bar of my pan and that is basically allowing them to sit sort of uprightish like that. Look at that, gorgeous. And what I'm going to do is just get some oil and seasoning on them. So <coughs> I'm going to pour some sea salt down the backbones of my fish. I said sea salt. What I actually meant obviously was olive oil but it's been a long day i can cut that <laughs> i was actually quite enjoying that so i think you should leave it in i will um so just giving them a good covering because i want them to go lovely and crispy the skin there we are i'm going to roast them in this pan and then while they're resting i'm going to use the same pan to make a little quick sauce so this is going to be a quick dinner one of the things about fish is i love cooking them with real high heat so that the skin goes beautiful so i'm going to just seasoning on the skin. Such handsome fish, red mullet, I love them. Pan roasting, let's put a bit of pepper over them as well. And one of my fabulous lemons. And I think we should bring these into the sun so we can see them because they look stunning. Come and have a look. Look at those. So push them in as far as I can. Now, if the tails burn a little bit, don't mind. So, so. Okay, so I'm gonna slice some short. Okay, that shallot there is for my salad. And now I'm gonna slice one. For my sauce, I'm going to make a, a, a beautiful little sauce once those fish are out of that pan. And the sauce is going to be a classic sort of wine and butter finished sauce. Um, but I'm going to put some basil and parsley in it. And it's going to taste absolutely wonderful. Very simple, but it'll be really fresh and delicious. And it's then going to have one of the best ingredients, which are brown shrimps. Now I've left those in the fridge till the last minute. But your brown shrimp is a tiny, tiny little shrimp, about an inch long and uh, very, very common in the waters of Britain and a real delicacy. Those won't get wasted. I will chop them up and use them. Okay, let's 
So here are our fish. Oh, ho, ho. look at that. Skin is going blistery. Looking and smelling just wonderful. You can get some nice oiliness on the skin there. It will do an absolutely fantastic job of crisping the skin off. So what I love about these little ovens, and people call them pizza ovens, and they're just not. I mean, this is called the Uni Pro. <clears throat> Loads of people have asked me about it, so I thought I'll talk about the oven. And um, I mainly fuel it on charcoal, but I've also got some of these little cut pieces of wood. And if you look in here, I'm going to now just stick a couple of little chips of wood on there. And they will provide me with a little bit of flame, which will lick over the fish and kind of act as a grill for the fish. So you get heat and direct heat and it will be stunning. We've got to work quite quickly. I've got some beautiful Jersey Royal new season potatoes being boiled. Um, I'm just going to smash together a salad and then we can pull the fish out and while the fish rest, we'll make the sauce. Now, for the endive or the chicory, I'm just slicing them lengthways like that and use a slightly longer knife. And the, one of my favorite things really, chicory, it's a beautiful, beautiful flavored salad ingredient. And you can roast it, you can do all sorts with it. But in this instance, just get to make sure there's no stalky bits. And I'm gonna to toss that through with some of our shallot there, which gives it crunch and flavor. Shallots raw in salad are amazing. Let's have a look at these babies. Look at these fish. They are stunning. They're cooked to a tea. I'm going to bring them over here. I'm going to drench them with some lemon. Put the rest of the butter in. While that's simmering, I'm just going to slice up some herbs and seasoning to finish it off. Okay, this is a mixture of basil or basil and flat leaf parsley. In it goes. I'm get a splash more wine in there, I think. And loads more of this beautiful lemon. Oh. So this is the simplest little salad dressing. So I've got some really good balsamic vinegar, some of my lovely olive oil, some mustard, some lemon juice, salt, pepper, and a tiny little squidge of honey. Not much, just to cut the vinegar. There we are. Little little mix. So there's a famous poem by a guy called Ogden Nash, who was a, a, a bit of a legendary poet who wrote a lot of whimsical poetry. But he did say one thing, which I've always remembered, because people do crazy things to salad dressings. And he said this, he said, uh, a dressing is not a compote, a dressing is not a custard. A dressing is oil, vinegar, salt, pepper, and mustard. And it's a truism to live by. There we are. Okay, let's go to the table. So here are my beautiful little brown shrimps, one of my favorite ingredients. I'm gonna warm them through because they're already cooked in the sauce. I'm just gonna add a little bit more white wine to the sauce. There. Mm, tasty, I love them. It's such a delicious thing with fish. Traditionally, we do a a burnt butter sauce, so we kind of burn the butter. But actually for this one, I just want this, it's quite light, it's quite delicate. The herbs and, and the meatiness of the shrimps just tasty as hell. So I'm just gonna whip the fillets off these fish, lay them out on the plate, pour the sauce over the top, boiled potatoes, crispy endive salad, glass of nice chilled white wine. Here we go.
Oh, I love cooking fish. Quite an exciting little dish to make. Made better by gin and tonic. And um, let's have a go. One of my all time favorite fish, one of the meatiest fish in the sea, brown shrimps. Yum, that was a proper classy dish. Wow, I do love it, I've got to say. Hang on a minute, proof is in the pudding, here we go. That's really good. <laughs> there you go, my harshest critic behind the camera. Oh, amazing. So we're gonna tuck into this, the beautiful salad, the Jersey Royal potatoes, cheeky little glass of Riesling, which I think goes really well with fish like this. Gorgeous early May evening. I hope you've enjoyed it. Maybe back to some more game cookery tomorrow or possibly some baking.